Okay, guys, it's your boy, Mr. Luke Evan Brooks. I hope that you're doing well. We're going to sit here and do another episode. We're going to talk about fake beggars who are caught red-handed because we see this a lot. Now, I know you're like, hey, what's this guy do with Passive Income Central? This is actually dealing with passive income where people are doing things not really want to work. And I want you to see these telltale signs. I want you to see this. I want you to be educated on because it's very important that we know who we're dealing with when it comes to business, when it comes to our money and not being taken for a fool. If you're new to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to give you daily, or I won't say daily content. I will give you weekly content that drops about two to three times a week. And we're going to get you entertained, but we're going to get you educated at the same time. So hang on to your butts. We're about to see some real stuff here. Let's go. First time seeing this, but I want to enjoy this with y'all. Many people who don't have things like money or housings. It's important that we look after these people and help them out when we can. But it's also important to make sure that these people are the real deal. It turns out some beggars aren't who they say they are. Some are not actually in need and are very bad. Did he just try to roll out of there? I, I can't make this up. Do literally pull his pants. And it kind of reminded me of trading places when they lift up Eddie Murphy. Be seen trading places, and he had like he lost his legs, and he was in Vietnam, and he happened to go across some police officers that actually served in the war, and they were like, "Okay, what unit were you in?" Blah blah blah, and he can't answer those questions. They lift him up, sent him to jail. It's kind of hilarious, you know. It's kind of sad that people would try to prey on people who are willing to give, but to take advantage of people that's really not something to stand for bad people. Others may fake things to make us feel sorry for them to make more money. And some beggars actually are incredibly wealthy with houses and luxury cars. No one knows just how many fake beggars are out there, but we do know about these ones who were revealed and exposed. Fifth Avenue Beggar If you're preying on unsuspecting rich people to catch with a begging scam, one of the best places to do it is Fifth Avenue. Fifth Avenue is a major road in Manhattan, New York. Fifth Avenue is famous for its expensive luxury jewelry and clothing stores, and it's also a hub for the city's scammers. After all, what better target for a scam than a rich person? One of these scammers was this woman. At a first glance, she seems like a very vulnerable elderly woman on crutches. It seems like she has some kind of hunchback or disability. But one day a man on Fifth Avenue was watching this woman. That's when something she did raised a red flag. She would panhandle with a cup. But whenever someone put money into this cup, she would empty it into a handbag. This made it seem like she was not getting any money. She would earn around 50 donations per hour. Er now, this is kind of crazy because people do do that, right? I've seen it where people will act like they're homeless. They will have money to put gas in their car. And there's a perception thing where people might seem like they don't have anything. They, you know, they own bad luck. But she's probably getting paid and most people are working at damn McDonald's or at, you know, at the dealership. I mean, 50 donations per hour. And she's probably out there 13 hours. That's, that can add up. Earning her anything from $50 to $500 per hour. Does that is see? much more than minimum wage. After seeing her empty her cup, some undercover journalists began tracking this woman. They waited until night and followed her. They saw her walk away and climb into a minivan. But when she climbed back out, the journalists were stunned. They saw a very young, healthy, put-together woman. She no longer had crutches and was walking normally. And she also had a totally different, expensive outfit. She looked more suited to be shopping on Fifth Avenue than begging on it. Ain't that some stuff right there? You know what I wanted to say? She was buying nice clothes, looking good. She wasn't an old woman. Wow. Wow, guys. They continued following this woman, and the following day, she went on a shopping spree with her friends, probably spending the ill-gotten donations from the previous day. The next day, she went back to work as a vulnerable disabled woman. The journalists confronted her, but the scammer ignored them. We've been watching you the last few days, and you don't really need those crutches, do you? <laughs> We saw you this morning walking perfectly fine. It's unknown what this woman's doing now, but if you see... I can tell you what she's doing. She probably went to a different street or a different city. Come on now. Let's not be stupid. 
she didn't get she didn't go to jail, right? So she like, okay, I can't go on Fifth Avenue. I need to go to another place to get this money. Let's use common sense, guys. Be her on Fifth Avenue, then beware. Fake disability. Naturally, you're much more likely to give money to a beggar if they're disabled. After all, this means they're more vulnerable and you feel sorry for them. Some beggars even give stories about how they are veterans who were injured on the battlefield. But it turns out not all of these disabilities are real. For example, this beggar in China. In the middle of a busy street, this guy was caught red-handed. He was lying on the ground with wheels to get about. And he was pretending to passers-by that he had lost both his legs. But that's when a passerby recognized the beggar. He had been on the bus with the beggar just hours ago. And back then, the beggar had been standing up normally. The man decided to expose the beggar on the street for everyone to see. It's a good thing he recognized the right person, because wow. if he got the wrong guy, this would have been awkward. But it was the right guy, and this fake beggar's secret was exposed. The beggar had simply crossed his legs under his clothes. Another fake Chinese beggar moved around in a wooden skateboard. He was pretending he had no legs and no hands. But after this guy collects a lot of money, he stands up like normal. He even counts his money very fast with his working hands. Oh, so he did an Eddie Murphy. I literally talked about that. I've not seen this before. He just literally did an Eddie Murphy from Trading Places. This guy is a really bad person. Not only is he lying to all of these people, but he's also taking donations from real beggars with actual disabilities. Something similar was caught on surveillance footage in an Arabic country. Uh -oh. An entire family is walking around with a man who claims to be disabled. They had been collecting donations, but that's when a surveillance camera catches this man resting on the stairs. He then takes off his work clothes and walks around like normal. Another beggar who was faking a disability was revealed in Pakistan. A journalist is tipped off that he's a fake. He goes to confront him and takes his walking sticks. At first, the man pretends to not know how to walk without his walking sticks. But eventually he gets tired of the journalist questioning him. He then stands up and walks away without even limping. It's a good job that this reporter did this because he probably saved people a lot of money. Mercedes-Benz beggar. I bet this is the one who's going to put gas in a car using the money. This, this happened on a movie called Don't Be a Menace to Society While Drinking Your Juice in South Central LA. Uh, I believe that's the name of the movie, but... I bet this is, I bet you, I've never seen this before. I bet you this is what this is. Some beggars who scam people are still quite poor. But as you're about to see, sometimes even the rich beg. One day, a pregnant woman was panhandling on the streets of San Francisco with her young son. But was stunned when she walked away and got into a Mercedes Benz. Someone posted this on social media. And that's when others came forward saying they saw her do the exact same thing. She became infamous in San Francisco and her scam was revealed on the news. When a reporter confronted her about this, at first she said that the woman in the photo was not her. Is this she right there begging on the street? No. Not but a facial recognition expert said it definitely was. This woman may still be out there. So if you see her panhandling in San Francisco, then beware. Okay. Fake homeless. I thought she going to get gas. One day, someone noticed that a panhandler was actually scamming people. He would go out with a sign saying he was homeless and ask for money. But at the end of the day, when his work was done, he would go home to his house. The person who realized this... They're like a nice house. I mean, looking at the door, it looks like it could be pretty nice. ...tipped off a YouTuber named The Vale Family. And they did some incredibly impressive investigation work. They followed him and recorded him begging and then going back to his house. To make matters worse, this guy even drove a new car. And the house mm. he lived in was fairly large. When the Vale family knocked on his door to confront him, the man was stunned. The man said he had no idea what the YouTuber and camera crew were talking about. But the same man was caught on tape by the YouTubers before, and he was even wearing the same clothing, so it pretty much confirmed it was him. It's really sad that people actually do this. And that's why I don't be giving out money like that, man. Like, my boy from a uh, college... He had an encounter like that when we were going to college at A&T, and the person was sitting there telling him that he was homeless, he needed some money for some food, and my boy said, I'm going to do something for you. He said, follow me. 
went across the street, took him to Burger King. He said, you can pick anything. I don't care. Whatever it is, I will pay for it. And he like, no. He said, anything, man. You can have croissants. You can have a Whopper. You can have multiple Whoppers. I will pay for your food. He said, I just want the cash. He said, no, nah, man, you hungry, right? So I don't like Burger King. He said, if you're homeless and you're hungry, you don't matter what it is, you will eat it, right? You will eat. If someone say, hey, here's the steak, here's some crackers, you think they're the best crackers in the world, right? So come to find I do want it liquor, liquor and drugs. Well, good job to the Vale family for revealing this fake beggar. PhD beggar. Mm. This beggar is not a malicious scammer. Instead, he was making something up because he was desperate and he had to. This man was an Indian school teacher who retired. Dinesh Dwevetti had a PhD. He also had a pension of 35,000 rupees per month. That's around $500. He also had a work salary as well. But he would also go on the street of Jaipur and beg for money. So if he already had money, then why was he begging? Well, it turned out his son was an addict. His son would steal his money and also injure Dwevetti as well. Dwevetti. Okay. If I did that to my dad, my dad would put me into the ground. Dad is over 80 years old. My dad ain't going to do that. This guy probably had a soft heart for the son. Hide your money. You don't put your money where he can go grab the wall. I know his money's there. You got to hide your money. Put your money in something called bank. And if, if I were to lay hands, that's something I really got to talk about. If I ever lay hands on my parents, then you shorten your days. That's what my mom always told me. You shorten your days. Don't ever lay your hands on your family. It should never go down to this. He would have got killed. That his money was drying up, so he had no choice but to fake an injury and beg on the street. Eventually, the media caught on to this and exposed him. But people still took pity on his situation. Locals moved him into a care home so he could be looked after. So, although he did lie, he was doing it for good reasons. And it's great people came together to help this old man in need. Highway Widow if you saw an elderly widow begging on the side of the highway, chances are you would help her out. The hell There's I will. something on our brains which makes us care much more about the elderly and very young. Her sign said that she was in need of money, and many people gave her money. But that's when a man named Daniel spotted this woman counting her money in a 2014 car. Uh-oh, she about to get checked right here, right now. When a YouTuber confronted her about this, she got very angry. I mean, she laid hands on him. See, we live in a time of the 21st century where old women, old people can't just sit there and hit people, right? If you lay hands, you might get hit in the head too. So that's dangerous. Don't do that. It just goes to show that you should be cautious about any panhandler asking for money. Most will be real, but you never know. But now it's time to make your voice heard. Comment down below which was the smartest fake beggar. If you want some more amazing videos, then check out my second channel. But as always, thank you for watching. There are some more- All right, guys. What do you think about that? Drop your comments down below. I know that they have some crazy stuff here. This talks about a little bit about passive income, but doing it on the wrong way or smart way. Just want to show you all aspects of this. If you like what we're doing, give us some likes. If you want to enjoy watching all the array of content that I do have, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Again, my name is Mr. Luke Evan Brooks. Other than that, take care. See you on the other side. Peace.